Hello and welcome to Ganesh Institute channel. So our next topic is what if means how we can solve those homogeneous differential equation which are in the form of two products like um, product of two variables like you have exponential as well as trigonometric function in product form or in addition form or if you are getting in your um, when you apply one upon symbolic form and after applying your a and b after putting the values you are getting one by zero form then you can apply this general formula how we can apply it see first of all first two steps are same finding out symbolic form then auxiliary equation so from that onwards roots and make a complementary factor so let's do it this is with respect to x this is with respect to x and y right and this is with respect to y so your symbolic form is d square d d dash minus 6 in z right now your auxiliary equation will be m square plus m minus 6 equals 0 so this will be 3m minus 2m you can take m common m plus 3 minus 2 m plus 3 so what you will get m as minus 3 and 2 so you can see roots are real but distinct so complementary factor is f1 y plus x plus mx then f2 y plus mx right these are your m's and you have put it here now for particular integral remember you will not put uh, your symbolic form here in general formula what you need to do you have to take if you see d is equal to minus 3 this is the value of x right this was the value for d partial differentiation we have put d as m right so what you can get from here d plus 3 and the value of d dash is 1 so can we write it like this similarly for d is equal to 2 we can write it like d minus 2 that means d minus 2 d dash right let me recapitulate d which was m and its value is minus 3 so we just take it left hand side and we have put d dash because value of d dash is 1 now put this here okay and you need to take your value y cos x okay uh, and you need to take it in integral form now from now onwards what you need to do you have to put y as c minus mx and what is the value for m will, will you take minus 3 and 2 minus 3 or 2 so it depends on what you are taking first let's say i am taking it as it is but i am taking it okay 1 by d plus 3 dash inside that means because 1 by d means integral form you are taking it like in the function form but when you will take it inside it will be in integral form why you are taking the value of m as minus 3 right so minus 3 minus minus plus 3x so it will be for y you will put c plus 3x cos x did you get it let me tell you again so firstly put the value for m in the form of d and d dash and take your right hand side here now because you know 1 by d is anti-integral anti-differentiable anti-derivative so this will be integral so if you are taking this first with this that means you are taking the value of m as this and you are integrating with respect to x you have to put your y the formula for y as c minus mx because you are taking m as minus m as minus 3 so 
m is minus 3 minus 1 is plus 3x put down here. Now solve the integral. You know what type of form is this? You need to solve it by parts, right? By parts, I late. Integral, integ uh, integral, then logarithmic, algebraic, trigonometric, exponential. So first function, first function will be algebraic, and then second function will be trigonometric, right? So how you will solve it? You will solve it like first function as it is. First function as it is integration of second. So integration of cos x will be sin x. Then after minus is in formula. Derivative of first function. So because you are derivating, differentiating it with respect to x. So 3. And then integration of this sin x. Which you have already done. So minus cos. Right? This is your form. Now, once you will have done this, you have already solved dx, right? Once you will do this, you have to put again that value of c plus 3x as y. So, you can put it as d minus 2d dash. This is y sin x plus 3 cos x. Right? Now, again apply the same thing. Let me grab a tester. Again do the same thing. Now your m is m is 2 here, right? So y is equal to c minus mx. So c minus m is 2, 2x. Put, when you take it inside, you have to put integration sign, right? Because this is antiderivative. And because you are taking a value of m as 2, so this form, so what it will become? Integration of y, which is c minus 2x, sin x, plus 3 cos x. You are integrating it, right? So, again first function, second function. So, first function as it is. Integration of second. For sine, it is minus cos. Let me write it here. Minus cos. Minus is in formula. Differentiation of first, which is minus 2. Then integration of this. For cos, it is sine. For this minus sine. And 3 cos x. Right? This is your particular integral. So, it is... You can again put c minus 2x as y. So minus y cos x minus minus plus plus minus minus 2 sin x plus 3 cos x. 3 minus 2, uh, you can see here, minus 2 sin x and this was, oh, integration of cos is sin, right? Why did I put cos? So 3 sin. 3 minus 2 is 1 sin. So you have got your part particular integral as y cos x 3 minus 2 plus sin x. Correct? Now your complete solution will be complementary factor plus particular integral. And your particular integral is minus y cos x plus sin x. This is your answer. I hope you understand. Let me recapitulate everything again. So for any question when you will get 1 by 0 form or the product of exponential, trigonometric, variables or trigonometric, any of those combination, then what you need to do, this is the general concept, take 1 by d, where whatever m will you get, make this type of form. Where d is your m and d dash is your 1. So, once you will make it, this will be your integral part because it is in the form of 1 by d. So, you have to take integration of this but with respect to whatever m you are taking. If you will take this first, let's say here, if you would take this first, then you have to put m as 2. Right? And take it further. If there would be a logarithmic function and integrate it accordingly, 
here you are given with um, by parts so solve it once you will get your particular integral add into the complementary factor and you will get your complete solution i hope you got it and if so then don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel till my next video take care of yourself bye bye